today I want to talk to you about wood lice. So if you've got an abundance of wood lice in your garden and you want to make sure they're not doing any harm, or want to know what they're actually, um, what the benefits they offer to your garden, then keep on watching. So welcome to Gardening Natural with Green Thinking Tips, and today I want to talk to you about wood lice and how they can benefit your garden. So wood lice go by quite a few different names, but I know them as wood lice or pill bugs. They are little tiny, usually black, brown, greyish coloured crustacean. Different types of wood louse are different. They change in different colours. So they are actually related to shrimps and crabs, would you believe? So wood, having wood lice in your garden is actually part of having a healthy garden ecosystem. They work very hard to decompose organic matter in the soil and, in, and around your garden. And um, by doing this, they actually release nutrients into, your, into the soil and out into your garden to help your plants thrive. Now, wood lice like to live in dark, dank areas with lots of decaying organic material, usually logs if you've got a wood pile, if you've got an open fire and got a wood pile. So we like to live in amongst there. But if you've got any decaying organic matter in your garden, so you've got a part of your garden like a copse or woods and limbs of trees have fallen off or you've felled a tree, then they will be living in amongst this sort of area. They like to live there. That's their kind of the way they like to live. Now, if you want to encourage wood lice into your garden, then by making a little pile of logs or branch, broken up branches or decaying wood in the corner of your garden will actually help to attract them in, support them, give them something to feed on, and will actually encourage them to breed and live in your garden. So that's how you can attract them into your garden. Now often um, wood lice are seen as bad because you might find them in your home because you've got um, say wooden windowsills that are rotting or floorboards or rafters or anything like that that are rotting in your house. If you've got an older house you'll understand. They're often perceived that they are the things that are eating the, the wood, that are rotting it, that are destroying it. But they're not. They're, the wood's already rotting, it's already decaying, they're just living off of it. So they aren't causing the damage, they're just, they're just benefiting from it. So to speak. Sometimes damage soft fruits. Uh, for instance like strawberries and things and they can sometimes damage softer young plant materials but generally speaking they don't cause an awful lot of damage to your garden but just break down the decomposing organic matter to release nutrients into your soil they are actually a vital part of keeping your garden happy and healthy and the biodiversity and ecosystem living within your garden so they're a really good way of supporting all your plants producing nutrients for your plants supporting the soil um, conditioning the soil side to this is actually wood lice are a food source for many different creatures such as trees and toads they also feed a lot of different birds flies and ground beetles as well so not only are they producing food for your plants but they're actually food for the wildlife that call your garden their home that these creatures are also part of the ecosystem of your garden and protecting and caring for your garden throughout the year reducing the amount of work and intervention that you have to put into your garden to keep it happy and healthy. So they play a big role as a link in your garden's ecosystem. And without them, you won't be able to support some of the insects that feed on them or some of the creatures and wildlife that feed on them. You'll drastically reduce the amount of nutrients that's in your soil. So I hope this has enlightened you in the way of the um, woodlouse and will help you to see that they're actually they're quite useful for your garden and how you can encourage them to live in your garden and how these wood lice can actually encourage more beneficial insects and more wildlife into your garden to help boost and develop your garden's ecosystem to help grow and support your garden naturally. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this from myself, from Gardening Match with Green Fingertips, please click the subscribe button right here and click here for my next video in the run. And I'll see you in my next video. See you later.